Welcome. Let's start by going to stop media. Under color, drag down a color background and extend to 20 seconds or more depending on the number of pictures you're using. Apply light leak overlay filter 06 effect to the background to give it a colorful look then add more video tracks. Since I am using 13 pictures, I will add 13 tracks. Drag down a picture. Extend and apply image mask effect. Also apply border effect. Click to adjust blur to 1. Afterward go to image to apply drop shadow as shown. Further copy the effect. Now move the playhead 4 frames forward. Now apply keyframe to scale and position. For scale type 80 and position X type 387. Again move the playhead 4 frames forward. Apply keyframe to scale and position. For scale type 120 and position X type 1605 so that the picture will animate and scale up to the right outside the screen. Afterward apply square blur effect and animate. Now click the first keyframe. Go to effect and scroll down to square blur to type 2 for size and 0 for opacity. Now click the second keyframe as well. Go to square blur to type 4 for size and 100 for opacity. Preview. Drag down another picture. Paste the effect earlier copied and extend. Now click the picture. Apply keyframe to both scale and position. Go to scale to type 40 and to position left type minus 476 in position X. Again, move playhead 4 frames forward. Apply keyframe to both scale and position. Go to scale to type 80 and to leave minus 476 in position X. Again, move playhead 8 frames forward. Just apply keyframe to both scale and position and leave both scale and position in 80 and minus 476 respectively. Lastly, move playhead 4 frames forward. Apply keyframe to both scale and position. Then further change scale to 120 and position X to minus 1610 to animate left. Now apply square blur and click to animate. For the first keyframe, click the picture. Go to effect and scroll down to square blur. Type 4 for size and opacity 100. For the second keyframe, go to square blur. Type 2 for size and opacity 0. Third keyframe, go to square blur just apply keyframe to both size and opacity. For the last keyframe, go to square blur. Leave size at 2 and change opacity to 100. Now copy the effect. Drag down another picture. Make sure it align with the last keyframe of the picture above or at the middle of the keyframes below and also extend the picture. Now paste the effect and extend the picture forward as shown. Now click the picture. For the first, second and third keyframe. Leave the scale the way it is but for the position. Change the position X of the keyframes to 390 but the last keyframe should be 1610. You will also notice the square blur has been animated automatically because the effect was copied and pasted. Click the last keyframe above. Drag down another picture. Extend the picture. Go back to copy the effect and paste the effect. Extend back. Now copy the effect of the picture below. 
Click the last keyframe as well. Then drag down another picture, extend and paste the effect. Afterward adjust to align with the last keyframe. Again the last keyframe. Copy the effect. Drag down another picture and extend and paste the effect and adjust the picture to align with the keyframe above and extend as shown. Same procedure till the last picture. Sorry I will be fast here because it's the same procedure depending on the number of pictures. Here I am using 13 pictures. Done, then preview. To give a different outlook, go to Effect, search for Cinematic Filters Pack Overlay 08, drag down and extend and further click to adjust to 50. Also drag down Moonrise Background Pack Overlay 02 and extend then click to adjust to 10. For the last effect, go to Shake Under Effect to drag down up down 2, extend as well then click to reduce the frequency to 20 and untick the RGB. Done. Thanks for watching but if you still want the template for this tutorial comment below.